B2B store with Unleashed could not be easier. This video will help you get your B2B portal ready and open for business. So let's start our journey. Go to Integration Store, B2B, and click on Add Store. Choose the name of your store. This name will be part of the URL of your store, so choose a name that's easy for you and your customers to remember. Next, you will have to create a B2B store admin account. Once you're ready, click on Create Store. Your B2B portal is now live, but we still have a lot of work to do. Over in Configuration, you can assign your super users as additional B2B store administrator. Simply select the person you want to add from the drop-down menu and click Invite. An email invitation will be sent to the selected user. Here, you can also select the unleashed order status that you want your orders to be imported as. For this example, I will leave mine as Sparked. You can also select the unleashed warehouse from which your stock availability is exported to the B2B store. When orders are placed on your B2B, stock will be reduced from this warehouse. Next, you can select the default tax rate to be applied to this B2B store. Here, you can also opt if you want auto symbol products to be included as available quantity on your B2B store. If you have multiple warehouses, you can choose which warehouse you want your stock availability to come from. But please, do remember that at least one warehouse must be selected. Over in Manage Products, you can select the products you want to have displayed on your B2B store. You can filter by product group or save time by clicking on Select All. Over in Manager Customers, you will have to select the customers you want to invite to purchase from your B2B store. The default contact will be sent automatically to your B2B portal. And if you want to specify another contact that might be responsible for placing the orders from the same customers, you can check the ordering checkbox on the custom file. Don't worry, you can safely select your customers here and they will not be invited yet. Now that we have configured our preferences in Unleashed, let's get your B2B portal ready. At this stage, your store is looking a bit empty, but don't worry, we will get you up and running in no time. Let's start by clicking in Settings. Under the General tab, you can customize your brand name. Choose the title of your catalog or collection. For this example, I will update mine with Spring Collection. Next, you can enter your catalog page summary. This will be displayed under the catalog's title. A great tip for this page is that you can click on Preview at any stage. Next, you can enter the delivery detail rules for your store. They will be displayed on the checkout page. And the login blurb. This will be displayed on the customer login page. Next, you can customize the colors of your store. And don't forget to save the changes once you are happy. Next, you will have the option to have your brand name and company logo displayed. So let's quickly upload my images. The banner will be displayed on your main page and will replace the brand name. The close store button on the left corner will temporarily close the store by making it unavailable to users. This can be used if you're making big changes on your store or closing for a holiday break. Over in the Contact Details tab, you can update your preferences, especially if you want to have your customer's invitation customized, or else a default invitation will be sent. If you want to have your contact details displaying on the footer of each page, switch this toggle on and enter the details you want displayed. You can also activate the contact form, making it easier for your customers to contact you. Remember to click in Preview to see how your store is shaping up. Now, let's click on the Products tab. Here, you will find all products you previously selected and unleashed. They will initially be marked as hidden, and you can choose if you want them visible or sellable by hovering over the action cog on the right. If you want to save time, Check the action cog on the left. Here you can select all your products at once and mark them accordingly. For this example, I will select all my products and make them sellable. The product description can be edited here if you click on them. 
so you can make your descriptions as custom friendly as you want. Please note that changing the description here will not overwrite the description in Unleashed. On the next tab, you will be able to adjust your product details preferences. Remember, the B2B portal will be using the product details coming from Unleashed, so keep your product records updated in Unleashed. Here, you can toggle on if you want to. Have your images displayed, display product prices, show prices as tax inclusive, display product codes. If your product codes are not custom friendly enough, you can opt to have your product's description shown instead. It is important to remember, if product codes is visible, your products will be displayed alphabetically by product codes. If product code is hidden, products will be displayed alphabetically by product description. You can also choose to display your products units of measure, sold out products, and if you want to have your available stock displayed. Further, you can assign your products into different catalogs and categories, which will facilitate how you sell your products to your customers. For more information on setting these features, please visit the Unleashed Academy. The next tab is the Customers tab, but I will leave this tab for last, as there are still a few things we need to do before inviting our customers. If you ever gain trouble or in need of extra help, click on the Support tab and request support. This will give our engagement consultants access to your B2B portal and its settings to help you diagnose and fix your problems. Finally, we will have the Admin tab. Here, you will have completely visibility of all the users assigned to the store and you will also have the option to remove anyone from the list if you prefer. Now that all my products are displaying as sellable items on my store and I'm happy with all my settings, let's get open for business. Click on Settings and Customers. Here you will find all the customers you previously selected and unleashed. Initially, they will all be marked as inactive, meaning that so far they haven't received any invitation to purchase from your store yet. But we are about to change that. You can click on Send Invitation individually or save time by selecting All and sending all the invitations at once. Your customers will receive an email invitation with a link to sign up and their status will be shown as pending. Once they sign up, the status will change to active automatically and they will be able to start shopping. You can manage all orders by clicking on Order History on your B2B portal. Back in Unleash, you can keep an eye on your orders by navigating to Sales, View Sales Order, and Filtering Accordingly. For this example, I will select Park to Status. Your customer will receive a confirmation email when the order is placed, and another email once this order is completed. Thanks for watching.